Hello, welcome back. I am Dr. Kristen Casey, licensed clinical psychologist, here to answer your questions about becoming a psychologist or any job-related questions about psychology that you have. One question that I received today was about getting a job after a bachelor's program. I am worried that I won't get a job after I graduate. What should I do to get experiences before I graduate? This is a really good question, um, and it's not something I had a lot of guidance on back then, but in hindsight, it's kind of helpful to talk about now. So when I was getting a bachelor's, I was working as an EMT, and I also was working in a group home. So I was working with people with traumatic brain injuries um, and neurological issues, helping them with daily tasks, like daily living skills, um, helping them create a grocery list and how to manage their behaviors and how to manage their emotions. So. Um, a lot of it was behavioral interventions, which was helpful because I needed to know about behavior therapy, um, you know, in general. And I use behavior therapy all the time now. Um, so that's helpful. Um, if you're worried about getting a job afterwards, you could always uh, email and show interest in any uh, potential positions or companies that you're looking at. It's something that I wish I did. So for example, if you're in your last year of your bachelor's program and you know that this one company um, is really great and you really want to work with them you could always ask to talk with someone and get a feel for the company because you're likely going to graduate soon so really putting the feelers out there before you actually graduate is pretty helpful because then you'll at least have the safety of knowing like hey i reached out to this person and they showed interest in me right so you'll know where to apply once you uh your degree is conferred however um having experience beforehand is always helpful right so if you're able to get any sort of job, um, any direct support job um, while you're in your bachelor's program, it's always helpful. Um, anything working directly with people, even customer service, if you think about it. Um, when you're in customer service, you're dealing with people all day long. You're listening to their problems too. So, I mean, you could use any of those um, jobs to highlight the applicable skills that you might use at a job after you get your bachelor's. Um, so another thing, after you get your bachelor's, you could also become a case manager. Um, in certain states, I know that that's allowed. In the state that I grew up in, it was. So that's another avenue. But um, yeah, if you're concerned about, you know, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get a job and things like that. I mean, with COVID, of course, there's always that anxiety of like, we don't know how the job market is doing right now. But um, having any experience and then being able to relay that in your resume will be important. So I hope this helped. And if you are interested in learning more about psychology careers, becoming a psychologist, feel free to give me a like and follow if you like this video. Thanks.